Hi and welcome everyone. So in this session, we are going to talk about data center basics. So we will be uh, trying to understand what is a data center, uh, how the data center looks like. We'll try to see some couple of images and then we'll talk about what is server. So what physical server looks like and what are the types of physical servers we have. After that, we'll see how a typical data center setup can happen and what are the components and factors involved in this data center setup. Let's start with data center. So what is a data center and how the data center will look like? So I'll just see some images and we'll have a definition of data center here. So data center is a physical location where we can host a physical devices such as physical servers, storage devices, network devices, etc., etc. So in data centers, so we will have a physical devices like storage network and uh, physical servers, which will be mounted into different chassis, racks, and etc., etc. Here, uh, we will see a couple of images about data center, which I'll be presenting it now. So these are the couple of images which I can present to you saying this is how the data center looks like. So the data center is a physical location. See, you can see this uh, where you have uh, lots of lots of racks and lots of lots of physical servers which are connected to each other via cabling method. So these are the examples of data centers which how it looks like. So we have so many, so many examples here in Google itself where you can find them. Uh, data center hosting are two types. One is you host your data center on your own, that is self-hosted data centers, or the other one is you can take data center services from a data center service provider, like examples, IBM, NextGen, CTRLS, ESDS, like this, there are so many vendors in market who will help you in providing the data center services, or you can have your own data center services here. Uh, if you choose self-hosted data centers, or either if you go with data center service providers, so we will be having our data centers uh, designed in this way, uh, just for an example. So we will be having a data center. So let's assume this as a data center, and in the data center, we are going to have lots of components so which are presented as below. So let's assume this as my data center. And in my data centers, I'm going to have a couple of racks or chassis. And inside them, I have my physical servers mounted. And those are connected to top of rack. So which is, which is basically a point to which all my devices are connected and network devices are connected database devices, power supply, storage units, all these components are connected to each other by using this top of rack. So in case if there is any failure, all my servers or racks will be failed. So uh, this is the typical setup, how a data center will look like in the uh, data center, how the devices are connected. So uh, this is a simple example, which I can present in front of you. I hope we get a uh, overview about data center, like uh, what is a data center, uh, which I, we explained data center is a physical location where we can host our uh, physical components. So this is a data center in which we are hosting all our physical components or devices. And if we just point to one of this device, which is called a server. So what is server exactly? So server is a large, capacity computer so it is also a computer but the capacity of the server is uh, a larger compared to our desktops or laptops so server is going to run with server operating system which is different from laptop or desktop operating system and if i just talk about the types of servers we have different types of servers here so one is we have tower servers we have uh, rack servers and we have plate servers so in our example here, so whichever I presented, so it was a rack and inside my racks, I'm going to host the rack servers. Likewise, here I have three types of servers. One is tower server, 
rack server and blade servers the blade server can be hosted in a chassis whereas rack server can be hosted in a uh, racks and tower is just it is uh, similar to our cpus but it is going to have larger capacity and if i present you the inside view of a tower it is something uh, look like this uh, just i'll show you the inside view of a physical server uh, this is the view of a physical server inside uh, when we open this uh, physical server chassis or the physical server uh, outside panel so basically here we are going to have hard disk slots this is the hard disk slot and this can be your <clears throat> cd drive or this can be your um, a floppy drive place where you can mount it and this will be your smps uh, so smps is basically a device which will convert ac supply into dc supply and these all are real cablings and this will be your ram slots this will be your processor slot and this can be your uh, extra slots if you want to have any raid or any other components here so even if you have your laptop or your desktop will have all these components the only major difference is server is larger in capacity and larger in size whereas server requires a different operating system to run with so that's all about this server data centers and um, the introduction about all this so this is all about uh, data center basics and what is server or how the data center set up how the data center view will look like so Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel.